fifth stop on the World Cup Tour. They move to the track in Sauerland, Winterberg, Germany. Men's skeleton, run number two. Alexander trekked the off. He broke the track record at the start in the first run, and he did the same again in the second run. A track record two consecutive times at the 50 meter mark, but a bottom part of the track, Alexander Trekdyoff, the World Cup leader, did not take advantage, had problems on this short, tight Winterberg track, and had the fifth best time in the run. He was still in first place, but there were still four sleds yet to go. Thomas Dukars of Latvia had not medaled yet this year. The, uh, the older brother of Martin Dukars, the Latvian Superman, fast training times all week. Thomas Dukar shows he's in proper form for 2014. He has a great first run. In the second run, the best time of the run, guarantees himself at least a bronze medal. There's two sleds to go. Now Matt Antoine of the United States. Antoine, his first ever gold medal victory, last event in Lake Placid. But on this day, in the second run, Antoine mistakes at the top of the track, couldn't gather the speed, and on the bottom, it was a question of how many sleds was he going to fall? Was he going to win a medal? Tenth best time of the run, two cars full stuff, but Antoine guarantees himself at least a fourth place finish. Wouldn't be a medal for him today. Martin's two cars. Wow, can he return to form? After winning the opening event in Calgary, he slumped to bronze and silver medals the next two events. But Aaron Winterberg has showed the rest of the field that he means business going into Sochi. He blows the field away by over one second on a short 1,280 meter track. Two cars. Boy, does he look good for the rest of the year. He wins going away over his brother. There's our top three in Winterberg. Here's the World Cup standings. Trekkiyev still in the lead, but Dukar's right on his heels for FIBT TV. I'm John Morgan.